I use an old ironing board as a portable potting bench. Or when I have parties, I use it for a more serving area. Or when I'm preparing TV dinners or freezer meals, whatever you want to call them, I can get a whole lot on there and set up everything at once before I vacuum seal them. So, if you have an ironing board that you're not using, you can do a lot more with it. And since the hummingbirds were right over my potting bench and I did not want to disturb them, I broke out my ironing board. I am going to be giving my bunny a facelift today. And one thing I do is I pour my extra paint into bottles. The screw tops. They take up a lot less space. They're much easier to mix and pour from. And if you do a double plastic bag between the lid and the bottle, hey, I'm doing this left handed, you can get the lid off. And all the paint sticks to that. And I do that with condiment bottles, jam, pickles, anything that would stick together and I can't get it open because of my delicate little hands don't work that well anymore. I even use them as a double layer for when I'm doing dry goods. It makes it harder for pantry moths to get into stuff. And I store my beans and rice in the big water jugs with the plastic bags. Plastic bags, And these plastic bags are nice because they're two layers and they're really inexpensive. But don't use just one plastic bag because if there's paint on the lid and paint on the bottle, it's just going to stick to both of them. The point is to have it stick to one bag on top and one bag on the bottom. Hello little bunny, you're going to become a white rabbit. Well, I'm done with the first of it. And I need to do his bottom layer, or her bottom layer. It's bottom layer. Hello birdies. And what I do, instead of washing out the brush, I put it inside of one of the plastic bags. Roll it up really tight. And once this top half is dry, and I can layer down and do the bottom. Just like that. And that's just going to wait until that dries a bit. I got this one from Linda Penny. She had a water bottle full of water upside down in a little pot in with all of her plants in a saucer. And what I did was I melted two holes, one on either side, in this 50 ounce, fill it up with water. After I fill this up to here with water, I put this in that is full of water, and as it slowly evaporates or is sucked up, this slowly empties, so this is never without water. Because at first I was having a lot of trouble keeping them hydrated. And I have got, I don't know why they're growing in here. There's no dirt. They're all in the little starter pots that just got away from me. I have found at my janitorial supply store dustpans with hollow handles. The handle's normally straight. As you can tell, this one's been used a bit. When I first found them, they were like 89 cents. Now I think they're running six bucks. I've gone through several of them through the years. And I just put a handle on them, a short one, because found out if you put a long handle, it gets hung up and stuff. And let's see, how well can I do this with one hand? It's obvious. Okay, my rake had fallen down. But 
normally I hold on to the dustpan. Where are you? There you are. And gather up my leaves for the compost pot. No bending required. <laughs>